What did you think of the two shows Wednesday? Um, actually, I thought that the AEW show was super entertaining. Um, and I thought the NXT show had, um, um, I don't know. It, it was like it was it was solid, but it was like I didn't think it was anywhere close to as good. But um, Io Shirai and um, and um, you know Sasha Banks had a pretty good match. I mean, I thought that like the for the most part, like the layout of the match was pretty good. Um, I thought like the one thing with NXT is I thought that the women's four way was way too long the rear ripley match was way too long and my god that freaking roderick strong dexter loomis match oh was... my god that thing went like how long did it go yeah i know six, you're right it 16, was 16 minutes it was 16 minutes but it felt like it was 25 and i was ready oh. to poke my eyes out i i i've got to say that you know no matter what i mean there is not a feud in wrestling anywhere that is worse than Roderick Strong and Dexter Loomis. Not in Impact, not on Raw, not on SmackDown. There is nothing. And poor Roderick Strong is such a great worker, but fuck, this match was brutal. Just, you know, I mean, they, they kept moving and everything, but it's just, you know, with one guy doing no-sell stuff, um, you know, and playing Monster... You know, you can't go that long. That's the same thing with the Rhea Ripley match. It was like the Rhea Ripley match, the way that they have Robert Stone positioned where he's a complete goof, you know, like a, a pussy manager thing. It's like, and then Aaliyah is obviously not competitive either. It's like, you you know, if you can do a match like that, you really can only get about four minutes out of it. And they try to do 10. God, that was too long. But um, I yeah, I, the first two matches of AEW were freaking great. The, the match of the night was the Luchasaurus match. I just thought that 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 match, just, you know, those guys, those guys were so good, all four of them, especially freaking Jungle Boy. He, he just looked, he just looked great. And you know, MJF stay, you know, has got the personality and goddamn Wardlow. Um, that guy's a su that guy's going to be a superstar someday, and. Um, I thought that Penelope Ford is not nearly as polished because she doesn't have the ring time of the women in WWE, but she is so much better of an athlete. And also, and also the other big difference is, is that the Kenny Omega layout stuff is like really like it's like the the it's it's got its good and its bad. It's like when it doesn't work because Kenny Omega like kind of like lays out matches in his mind that would work and if he was doing the matches they would be incredible but not everyone's kenny omega so sometimes when they do it and it's over people's heads the match kind of falls apart and isn't that good like uh chris statlander and nyla rose on one of the pay-per-views or, or one of the big shows the, when they did their title match it was like um you know it was like when you lay it out it's like if everything worked it would have been great but it didn't um but when it does and for the most part in this match it did it's so much better than the WWE basic style, even if the women are not as polished. And, you know, she is a good worker. You know, the whole thing of how AEW women, you know, aren't good. It's like this match was great. I mean, they, they were just, they were just on because they did like all kinds of creative stuff and the crowd was in it. Now, I do want to say one thing before I forget. Um, the, AW now I know it's outdoors and I know Duval County is not as bad as Orange County but it's still Florida and Florida is a fucking mess okay there's no reason at this stage of the game that um people should not have that I mean the wrestlers know the referees fine obviously the announcers know although I have qualms about the announcers sitting together that close especially given um the age of Tony and and Jim Ross but um there's just no reason for those fans to be on top of each other in such a big building and not wearing masks especially not wearing masks i just it's, if if nothing else they should just be setting an example for the, for the for the rest of us you know what i mean i think that you know wrestling i'm not i'm not like wrestling's not very good at social responsibility anyway and it's been really the shits when it comes to this disease in a lot of ways but or at least here but um the least they could do is that I, I was just it's like there's there's no need not to they're freaking fans um 
I mean, it doesn't hurt the show. It doesn't hurt the visual. Um, most of the people in, in, in W, in, in, at the NXT show on, on Monday and Wednesday were wearing masks. They're all supposed to. A couple of them obviously didn't because whatever, you know, you know, no one's forcing them to, but they're supposed to. Um, they were told to, but, you know, whatever. Um, the other thing also that we actually probably should talk about is Moxley. So, um, you know, they obviously switched the Moxley Brian Cage match from, the eighth next week which may hurt them a lot next week when it comes to the the ratings because the adam cole keith lee match is going to be real big um and probably um i mean it's that's that's the biggest match next week by far and and it would have been even with moxley and brian cage but you know because it's belt versus belt but without you know it, it hurts but they're moving it to the 15th because the 15th is a live show and moxley cross your fingers as long as everything goes well he should be fine for July the fifteenth. Um, he had, he passed. Um, he's he's going to take three tests. He's he's taking two. I think I don't know the day he's taking the third, but it's probably in the next day or two. But he um, passed his first test, which which we knew about. Then he had the second test, which he took over the weekend, and he would have gotten the result back um, either yesterday or today day but it was before the show but he had already pulled out of the show um even before he got the test result because he just felt that you know uh, you know it's funny because taz cut the promo and taz's promo essentially was exactly what he said it was like i don't want to you know come here and perhaps infect people and cause an outbreak and let alone somebody gets really sick. He said, like, I couldn't live with myself, you know, if I could, if that happened. And it already happened with WWE. He didn't want it to happen with AEW. So um, he was cleared to come but um, by AEW, but he did not come. So they're holding it back a week. And, and um, you know, that's that's the deal. I mean, their, their feeling was, you know, whatever. But he... Um, he made it, it it was it was absolutely his call not to come um they worked it out to where they're gonna do the match a week later which is which is fine the match still happens but you know it'll hurt next week in the ratings for sure that but you know there's far more important things than one week of ratings um especially right now so that was the right call so anyway we, that's the moxley thing so that that's i guess my that's my basic thoughts on most of the stuff <laughs> 